In a 30-minute Barbados Today interview conducted on condition of anonymity, the American citizen responsible for capturing patients, beds, food and staff at the Harrison Point Isolation Center maintained that her actions bore no malicious intent. Instead, she says the account was intended to share her experience with friends as well as to warn prospective visitors about the challenges they might encounter after testing positive for COVID-19 in Barbados. The Instagram account titled Harrison's Point Barbados documented her experience that started on December 20 when the U.S. native who lives in Europe arrived from the United Kingdom. The woman, said to be in her mid-30s, presented a negative COVID-19 PCR test, but three days later tested positive, marring an eagerly anticipated two-week family trip. It was then that she began to share the experience of herself and other, quote, innocent holidaymakers who found themselves stuck at the facility with, quote, no rights or representation. The repeat visitor says she was careful to protect the identity of those on the compound and therefore saw nothing wrong with capturing the moments. The view, however, wasn't shared by some Barbadians who took offence to the disparaging comments and warned that legal action could be taken against her given the island's COVID-19 directive which prohibits persons from revealing the identity of those in isolation. In response to questions from citizens on Tuesday evening, the Attorney General Dale Marshall, however, explained that the directive was in no way intended to shield government from criticism. Since then, the repeat visitor has left the island with no charges being brought, but she, however, has no intention of returning in the near future. Kareem Smith for Barbados Today.